All right, in this video, we are going to review your one login account uh, and zone where you're going to update some information and where you have access to all the different resources you get as a Realty One agent. Since we are a franchise, our corporate office does have resources available for all agents. So there's a lot of different third party vendors out there. Um, and once you are registered as a Realty One Group Prosper agent, then you might start seeing emails from these different partner companies, um, as well as an introduction email to get into Zone um, or your one login account. So you should uh, have received an email or you will. Um, it happens typically around 24 hours after you are all input into the system for getting into your one account. It may say, uh, welcome to Zone or your one login, something like that. And it comes from Realty One Group. So that's coming from our corporate office. Um, the, the website you'll want to save and where you'll go to log in is realtyonegroup.onelogin.com. So I'm going to back out so we can go back out and you can just see that. When you go to the login page, it's going to look something like this and it's going to ask for your username or your email so you can log in. And once you log in, it's going to take you to a landing page that looks like this and you'll see some different applications here um, and a few different um, menus as well. So if you want to see all of the apps uh, that are available, you click on the drop down menu. Yours might look a little bit different, but it will be an option to show everything. So if you click on everything, these are all the different partner brands or resources that you get access to. So there's some stuff that is just Realty One Group stuff that our corporate office has created for agents to use. But then you'll see different things like Real Scout, Rent Spree, Rate My Agent, Perk Spot. Again, there's going to be some of these third party companies. You will either have access to a free resource through them or membership, um, or they might just offer discounted services. For instance, something like Virtuance is a real estate photography company that um, you have access to as well. So if you're wanting to know what all of these different resources are, that's a very good question. Uh, I talked about a few of them. I'm just going to go back here to my frequency. Um, and the, the place that you can go for information about what all of these different resources are, what they do, whether it be a Realty One resource or a third party company, something like Perk Spot um, or Rent Spree, we do have a nice little resource guide that they've created and it's a digital resource guide. It's called the One Tool Chest. Again, if you don't see it, then click on Your Apps Everything and find this little tool chest box and click on that. It's going to open up the digital resource guide that shows you information. They have a table of contents here, so you can click on any of the different resources. So if you're in here, you're clicking around and you're like, hey, what, what is Real Scout? What do they do? What do they offer? Um, then you can come here to the tool chest and then find Real Scout on the list here, it's going to take you to the page of information regarding Real Scout. So it has some information here. Apologies. <laughs> has some information here about what Real Scout is. And it's a home search resource that you can use with your clients. Now, again, just because we have access to it doesn't mean you have to use it or sign up for an account. But if you are interested, then you would come here to the tool chest. You can find information. You can watch an introductory video, join a training, or get some more online resources. So this is where I would come for any of your questions about any of the different tools and resources and you're wanting to know a little bit more and get more information about that or, or watch a training video few other ones to point out, things like Perk Spot. So that one specifically is a savings top, on top brand. So it's um, kind of like a discount just because you're a member. They show different resources um, and perks. So again, I would start here in the digital resource guide, which is the tool chest, has information about the different resources. Skyslope being one of them, it's a transaction management platform, and that is actually what we use since we have access to it to manage all of our transactions. Um, so that's where you're going to go 
to upload documents um, so you can get your DA, which is your disbursement authorization, so you can get paid for any transactions that you get to uh, go through to closing. So we do have some information in here, and this is all their, their introductory information as well for Skyslope. So again, if you have any questions, I would start here in the one tool chest. I'll point out a few other things here that you'll want to do the first time that you are logging in. One of them is going through to zone and zone is where you're going to set up and make sure you have your account bio, your headshot, things like that uploaded. So they're on our website as well as the corporate website. So the first time you go into zone, it's going to load and it will show information related to our local office, but then it has a few different things that you're going to want to do. The first time you ever get into Zone, you will want to make sure that you set up your SkySlope account, and you do have to activate that through Zone. And that means when you come into Zone, again, this is just the first time you do it, on the left-hand menu here, there's a button that says SkySlope. You'll want to click on that, and it's going to take you through. It's going to say that this is the first time and we're activating or setting up your account. So walk through the steps on that to make sure that your account's activated. The next time you need to use Skyslope, you can actually just, when you come through your one login, you'll see that there's a tab here for Skyslope and you'll be able to access it that way. So you won't have to go through zone again specifically for Skyslope. So that is one thing that you'll want to do. The other thing is you want to make sure you get your account set up. So when you see your name here, there's going to be an arrow and it's going to open up a menu here. You'll want to go to where it says my account. And on the top here, there's going to be different tabs. You want to go to the public info tab. So the public info tab, that means the information that's going to be available and be able to be pulled to the website. So it has your information. So that includes an agent bio, headshot, any of your business, um, social media, and your website. Uh, it has a few different resources here, or sorry, resources. It has a few different places here that you can also share information, a little bit more information about yourself. So spend some time filling this out. And if you ever need to make edits to your bio or update your headshot, this is where you're going to come in zone for now uh, to update that information. So once you have the information input, you'll want to come up to the top right corner and click save user. Now, mine says that there's no, uh, no changes detected. Yours, if you've changed anything or you've updated it or it's just the first time, you're going to see that it will say pending changes or pending approval. So our office admin goes through at least once a week to see if there's any updates and we'll approve those. So that's the only way that those things can be updated is you have to come in here, fill out the information, and then you're going to click and save it. And then it will be approved and then it will disperse where it needs to go. So spend some time on here. Um, it's really important that you come in here and fill out this information so you, you'll you be visible on, on the different websites. So that's all you really need to do in, in the zone profile is activate your Skyslope, come in here, spend some time on your bio. Um, I'll talk about a few other things here and then we're gonna spend the most of the time left on OneSuite, which is where people tend to have the most questions. Again, if you have re resource questions, I'd always start with a tool chest. But another cool thing that I'm going to point out is the Creative Studio. It's kind of like a, a different website called Canva, if you're not familiar with that. It's a place where you can go to create content. So for like social media, marketing materials, things like that. It basically gives you resources and templates that you can use and design um, for doing online design and, and, and those types of things. So Realty One Group created Creative Studio, which has a bunch of templates that are already pre-designed that you can come in here and use. So it's going to give you um, some tips sometimes as well, so you can watch those. Um, but they, they do have different posts, resources for marketing materials, market updates, banners for different social media platforms. So it's pretty cool because these things are things that you don't have to think about. They're already designed. You can come in and just edit them. So if you're wanting to uh, look through these and use some of them, you would just come here through, um, go to the social media templates, 
Um, if you're looking for branding materials, it kind of tells you what, what it is, uh, but you can edit these as well. So if you like them and you want to change things out, you can use them for various things. So an example, let's just say you're wanting to announce that you've joined the one family. Well, you would come in here, you can click create design. And it's going to open that design for you. And if you already have your headshot in there, it will automatically pull that in. Um, and then anything that you can click on here, you can move things around. You can delete things, take, take things off. If you're wanting to change the wording, and then you could change also the location things like that. So it's a pretty cool tool. Once you are ready to use it, if that's what you want, then you would just hit download and you'd be able to use this on any of your social media or if you're wanting to put in an email, however you're wanting to use it. So I just wanted to spend some time talking about Creative Studio because it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, another thing people ask about a lot is getting marketing materials. So for instance, business cards, signs, things like that. In the Print Center, it also says Print Center One Design. You can go there and you can look at materials that you can order that are already designed and branded. So you don't have to spend the time designing um, those and making sure that you have everything on there that you need. So if you're interested in business cards, you could come here into your one login account, go to the one design print center, click on business cards, and then look at the options there. So they have different layouts. You can just click on them. Um, and then you can choose the one that you like. All you have to do is then walk through, put in your information. If you're adding a photo, then you would just add your photo and then order those from here. Another website that we have listed as well that we've mentioned before is markful.com. And they also have branded products that are branded to Realty One Group Prosper. So you don't have to spend your time designing uh, all you can, all you need to do is come to markful.com and where it says your shop, it says find your company for easy ordering. If you click here, then you can search for your company and you'll want to type in Realty One Group Prosper. There is a prosperity, so make sure you go and find the Realty One Group Prosper. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to all the business essentials and all of these materials. Then once you go in and select whatever you're wanting to do, it will have the Realty One Group Prosper logo. So it's going to be pre-branded. So the business cards, again, is an example, most commonly used. They have different packages, too, that you can buy um, for your business cards. I think that they also have like a beginner's kit or a... Um, first time kit, something like that, they say, um, for getting business cards and name tags. So look through here, you can see what they have available. Again, you just enter in your information once you select the design, and then you can order the materials. So those are a few resources to get you started. I'm not going to spend much time on uh, the other products in here. Skyslope, we do have a training. Uh, it's been referenced in our other video as well, but on our YouTube channel, you do have a training video. Carlin's provided information on how to use Skyslope so you can access forms and also get digital signatures. And um, you will also be using it for your transaction management software. So when you do have transactions and you have your forms filled out and all that stuff, that's where you're going to go and upload and manage those transactions. All right. The rest of the time we're going to spend on OneSuite. So OneSuite is a tool that Realty One Group has created that has various resources for you as an agent. So it's going to include things like your CRM. It also has your agent website. So everyone who joins and gets this one login is also going to have an agent website. So it's not something that you have to create, it's just something that you can come and you'll be able to enter and update information, but everyone has access to that. So if you click on OneSuite, it's going to automatically log you in and take you to your OneSuite account. I have two different profiles, so that's why it asked me a question, but yours, it will just automatically log you into your agent platform. And so it has a banner up here 
Corporate will share information about any updates if they have trainings or other things that they just want to highlight. So for instance, uh, they do have a OneSuite CRM app. So the CRM app is what you can use as well on your phone. So if you start using this platform and you're wanting that CRM app on your phone, then you have access to that. It does also have um, a quick start guide on here, has information about drip campaigns, how to create those. Um, the quick start guide is something that you can spend some time looking through. It has information that would be helpful as well, just getting familiar with the platform. And then um, this Web Builder 2.0. So in the beginning of 2022, they released some more updates and things that you can do with your agent website. So this training video would have information that goes a little more in depth in that, especially if you're wanting to learn more and, and do, do more with your agent website. So like I said, OneSuite has uh, your contacts and leads. It also has resources for editing your personal agent website. Then it has a bunch of other tools too. So for instance, if you are going to be hosting open houses, this whole OneSuite platform is really cool because it talks to each other. So if you do open houses and you use the open house form, you would just come here, you would fill out the information for the address of the property that you're doing the open house for. So let's just say it's one, two, three, four. And let's say we're doing 1234 Common Street in New Braunfels, and that's where my open house is. When you come here and you open the form, then it's going to take you to a sign-in registration. So you could have this on your tablet, on your computer, and have people sign in. It does also give you a QR code so people can register on their own device. So they would just get their phone out, scan that, and then they could register on their own phone does also then have a property guide QR code as well. The cool thing about this is that if someone scans this, they will see that property detail report, but it's going to be branded to you. So it will have all your information. The other cool thing about this platform here with the open house form is when you get people registered through here, they're automatically going to be a put into your contacts and leads. So you will automatically have their contact information which is a, it takes a step away from you than having to enter that information later. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on all the different resources in here because we want to spend some time on your contacts and leads and um, making sure that your account's all filled out and then your agent website. So you'll see here in the top right corner, there's going to be, once you have your photo uploaded into Zone, it will pull your photo over here into OneSuite as well. But you will want to click on that icon, that little circle there, and it will open this menu, and you'll want to click on your profile. For compliance, once this opens up, there's going to be a pop-up window that opens up. And for compliance on your agent website, you need to have your IABS and also the consumer protection notice. Well, the consumer protection notice is the same for everyone. And so corporate already has that on your website. But what they can't do is upload just a copy of everyone's individual IABS. So when you come here into OneSuite and you click on the icon and go to profile, this first section will say IABS disclaimer. So you will want to upload and attach a file of your IABS. That's so it will be on your agent website. Most of the other information on here uh, should pull already from your zone account or when your account is set up. So when your account is set up, the information that we enter and, and submit to get you your account is input here. And then the other things that it's going to pull, like this is pulling from my zone account. So the picture, um, I can't upload it here. I have to do that all in zone, but it automatically will pull and, and publish here as well. It will pull your zone bio. And if that's the one that you want to use, you'll just copy and paste that or you can make a customized bio for your website if you're wanting. And then just make sure that anything else that you need to fill out is filled out. Most things, like I said, already populate, but if there's other things, um, then you want to do that there. The email signature is something that is going to show on the marketing emails that come out from one's uh, from your OneSuite account. So for instance, like our company newsletter that goes out once a month, 
uh, this could be an email signature that you do. And this is something that was just created in Canva uh, and I uploaded it here. So then otherwise it's just gonna be plain text um, and that's how it would be branded to you. So come in here, make sure that you spend some time filling that out and then save and close it. All right, once you do that, you're gonna want to know, well, where is my agent website? Um, and that information for or how to edit things on your website. So your agent website, when you first start out, if you don't have a domain, you, it's going to just be your first name, last name, dot myrealityonegroup.com. So if you'll see, I started typing, mine's come up because I go there. It's amberking.myrealityonegroup.com. And this is my agent website. So this is what a consumer sees when they go there. Um, if I've shared my website, it um, has some information, has some resources, things like that, has some pictures on there, has my bio, featured listings. If you have listings, it will show yours. Otherwise, it will show other ones from the brokerage. So when you come through, though, on OneSuite, if you are not logged in or sorry, you're not going right to your website and you come in through OneSuite and if I click on website editor, it's actually going to go to the back end. So you'll see it looks very similar, but now you'll see that it has a little menu up here and it's the high menu with a notification settings and a or notification and settings menu. So this is how you know that you're in the editor version or the back end. You'll also see these gear shifts that are like the setting menus for each of the different widgets. So this is where you'll come to make edits to your website. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on all of the things you can do with your website. Um, I will reference here that you do have a access to the training videos and documents. So it's going to have more detailed information on how you can do more things with your website. But I will show you a few things because I know people are interested in making at least a few edits and making these changes, okay? So if you come to the high menu, and click on that and then you look here at the different options one thing that you can do very quickly and easily is changing the layout of your website so that's changing you know where your headshot is where your contact information is they have a few different layouts so if you click here on website settings and layout and then you'll click on change layout so once you do that, it's going to show you the different options here. So in this layout, the headshot is over here with the agent's contact information. The search bar is still in the middle there. You can scroll through and see and pick out which one you'd like to use. And this is the one I have. This is the one that prominently displays, you know, the different social media uh, and the other ones don't really have that. And so that's the one I liked. And so I chose that one. But you can choose whichever one you want to. Once you do, you'll just hit select. And then it's going to update your website. There's nothing else that you have to do to save that. So that's the layout. Um, you'll notice here, too, this banner that I have here. I have four different images that it's cycling between. So you may say, well, how do I do that? Uh, can I upload my own photos? Where do I change that? That's actually going to be here in the settings menu. When you click on Manage Banner, it's going to show you if you have any images already selected. If you only have one, it will show one. If you have multiple, that's then when it's going to carousel between all the different photos that you have there. So you can then go ahead and select Import from Library. And they have a banage, Banner Image Library that you can select photos from. Now, what I will say, especially since we're in Texas and really one group is international, you want to make sure you're using photos that would make sense for the Texas market because this is your agent website. So although mountains are pretty, we don't really have um, mountains in central Texas. So we have some nice rolling hills, right? The hill country, but we want to make sure that you're using things that make sense. So if you don't see things that you like, you know, you can pick what, whatever you want and use those. You can upload images as well. So if I click back here, I can go ahead and just upload and it's going to tell you the different specifications. So the resolution. So if you're wanting to um, do that or a video or your YouTube, you can do that as well. So those are, are just a few things that you can do to kind of start changing and, and making some edits on your website. So again, that's all here on one suite. And then you go to 
the website editor, all right? Um, the other thing I'll mention here too briefly is your contacts and leads. So you can import your contacts and leads. They do have a training video on it as well. So you can go in here and look on importing contacts and in the training videos and documents. So if you're wanting to import mass import, then you can do that. It's very easy once you have your spreadsheet, which is an Excel spreadsheet, or if you do like a Google um, doc spreadsheet, then you could just come to contact import and you'll just follow the steps and walk through. And that's going to allow you to import contacts all at once. So they're in your contacts and leads. Uh, the reason why you might want to do things like that is, like I said earlier, we do have a company newsletter. So we put it out so you can use it and send it to your database. And that's in something that we do for drip campaign. So a drip campaign is a set of emails that are created to go out at predetermined times. So you basically are going to add your contacts to it and set it and forget it. That way you stay in contact with people without having to, you know, always think about it. So you can create drip campaigns, um, but just as a beginner, um, the easiest thing to do is make sure you get your contacts in here. And then I'll show you an example here. So for 2022, these are all of the newsletters that went out. Once they have gone out, you can't send them later. So you need to add people to your database and they need to have been assigned to the campaign before it goes out. Otherwise, they won't receive it. So when you put someone in here in your contacts, then it's going to show their name. And then the, the newsletter, this is just the template. The email signature, that's what I said. That's where your information is going to be. So nothing else you can change. So it's it's a set email that will go out and it will look something like this, but then your contact person's information will be in there. So that's why you want to add people into your database. You can add them to drip campaigns. Again, the one that's created and easy enough for you to do so you don't have to do anything right now is the uh, ROGP newsletter. So once you have your contacts imported or you go ahead and you just add contacts, all you're going to need to do to add them to a campaign is you're going to assign them to a campaign tag. So if I've come in here and it's the first time I'm adding people, I'll just select all of the contacts that I want added to a campaign. And then I click on the assign to campaign tag. And then you're just going to go and search for that campaign. So this is the one that I'm going to do here. 2022 newsletter. So I select that and then I hit apply. So now everyone who I just apply that to moving forward is going to receive contacts or receive those emails from that specific campaign. So these are just a few cool things that you can do with this one suite platform. Obviously, there's a lot more. You're probably going to have questions and that's perfectly all right. We can definitely plan a time to go over that and we will have more trainings um, throughout the year and, and reference different resources that you have. But the cool thing about Realty One Group is that they also put out trainings and information as well. So I will recommend um, reading those emails that you get from Realty One Group because they talk about webinars and trainings they have, but then they also do have this online database of training videos and documents as well. So Hopefully this at least gives you a good place to start and uh, information on your one login, as well as some of the different tools and resources that you're most likely going to be starting to get, you, you know, get, the, get, hit the road running, <laughs> as they say. Um, hopefully, again, this has been a good start. Please feel free to reach out with questions. Um, like I said, we're here and available to help you through this onboarding process and make sure you get set up. So. Thank you so much.